these iconic, iconic signs like the, the, the Gateway Hotel. You know, we got the, the American Furniture sign over there. We have, uh, you know, this is where Clark Gable watched movies down at the theater. This is where Steve McQueen came and eventually would pass away uh, right along the border. You know, Jack, Jack, Kerouac, Jack Kerouac, John F. Kennedy, uh, American presidents at the Blasita, Mexican presidents at the Blasita. We have, uh, absolutely, we have, uh, we have Memorial Park, uh, well, sorry, excuse me, we have a memorial for the veterans of every single war in Texas history uh, just down at the edge of, of uh, Stanton. You know, you look there, uh, on this street in particular, right in front of our, our, one of our most famous historical sites, are our, our own federal post office go into the Taos Cafe one day and see what an old-fashioned diner used to be. Walk into the Cortez building and just you can touch the history. You know, I look at these, these heads of the conquistadors and I, I wonder, could any of them have imagined all these hundreds of years later, what what would eventually come here in El Paso de Norte? And at what time will we greet our visitors with not just the Spanish images, but the indigenous images, the mestizo images? You know, there's another discussion here, like these lanes right around the Placita, this is going to be expanded, from my understanding, to enlarge our park. We might not just see signs at the Placita of what you can't do, you might start seeing people talking about what you can do in El Paso. That's one of the best things of being back in El Paso. And, and, and to me, when you come back, you come back with ideas. You come back with things that are being done in maybe some of these major cities. You know, keep an eye on El Paso and come back because it's fertile ground. Historic moment, we're right here. Last week, you saw headlines, trillion dollars. There's a trillion dollars that was uh, paid into the financial markets of the world to keep the markets afloat. And we've been playing this conference now for a year, but it couldn't have come at a better time because now it's community strategies that are going to drive financial literacy, financial stability, wealth creation. It's communities coming together and coming up with local solutions related to some of these problems that we see. So this is setting the stage for El Paso to be the most entrepreneurial community 10 years from now, when you look back and say, okay, where did it start that we accepted, we wanted to do, we made financial literacy a big priority in our community.